wonderful viewers welcome back to my channel and i'm your host dona today i will be making this wonderful 3d bird house card these are super easy to make but they are super gorgeous and they can be used as table topper or desk topper so here i have actually made two of this and i am kind of obsessed in making these cards now so here i have added few details as you can see since it is a bird house card i have added two birds one at the top and one at the center and here are few uh, flowers and i have added some leaves as well and here i have made these two cards with two different sentiments so one is of bird wishes and the other one is for you here i have used layer flowers and these are all my die cut flowers here i have got a cardstock paper which is pink in color and this one measures 10.5 by 29.5 cm and this is of 250 gsm so this one is a pretty thick uh, material compared to this one my top decorative paper is very light it is only 75 gsm this will be the top part for the decoration and another piece i have taken which is of 10.5 by 8 cm as of now i will be concentrating only on this base paper so for giving it a bird house look like a triangle at the top i will be taking my ruler i will be marking at 28 cm on both the sides taking my paper cutter i will be cutting that 1 and 1/2 cm making my paper 28 cm in length so now my paper turns into 28 cm since it has become 28 now i will be taking 14 cm at the top along the bottom so i am marking 14 cm at the top and 14 cm at the bottom now keeping that in mind i will be marking at 17 cm on the right hand side and 11 cm on the left hand side i will be doing the same on the other side as well keeping 14 cm at the center i am marking at 17 cm and then at 11 cm now i will be joining the middle part that is the 14 cm and the other two i will be joining the lines diagonally i have marked the lines and now taking my scoring board i will be curing the lines Now I will be erasing these lines with the help of my eraser. But still it is visible because the scoring has been done nicely. So now I will be burnishing these lines. Keeping my base paper like this, I will be holding these two sides and nicely I will be folding these two lines inside now i need to burnish little bit more so that it doesn't leave any crease so the base is ready So now after folding this will be the actual size of the card. So it is coming to 14 cm by 10.5 cm. Now here comes the next part where I will be needing stop decorative paper. So what I will be doing is running the paper I am placing the base card and I will be taking the impression of the base card. Now I have got the impression. 
this is the top part which will cover the base paper so this one needs to be little smaller than the base paper so what I will be doing is I will be taking 0.5 centimeter from the top on both the sides and 0.5 centimeter from the bottom on both the sides and I will be joining these two lines now from the bottom I will be taking one centimeter on two sides and again joining the lines now I will be trimming off the sides with the help of my scissor The top part is also ready. Placing it towards the center. So here is um, very little scope of measurement because it has to be the eyeballing technique and nothing else. So I can see that it has given a nice border. It is kind of perfect to me. Then comes the next step. Here in this card, in these two cards, I have made a oval shape. But here I will be using my circular dies. Let me do the measurement. So the diameter is 8 cm. For the biggest one. And for the smaller one it is of 7 cm. A little bit eyeballing technique is needed. And I will have to leave some space in here as well. Towards the base now I need my masking tape I will give this decorative paper a quick run and through my die cutting machine now let me see how it is looking and I will be securing this circular die cut out for the later use because I will be using it for inside decoration so placing it in here, I will place the smaller die inside and secure it nicely so that it doesn't move from its place. So I'm using the masking tape again. And now I will be opening the other side because I do not need to give a cut on the other side. I only need a cut on this top side. Now I can adhere top part uh, with, the, with the help of my glue. And for the inside part, I will be using this one, this circular die cut out. It has to be placed so that it cannot be, the edges cannot be seen from uh, the outside. Now I will be adhering with glue. Now coming to the next step, I will be having this part. This is the base part. If you can see this base, it has four parts in here, one and two. These two are uh, the parts which has got attached with the base of the cards and this is the part which will make the card stand like this. These two parts will be shorter than this part. This is the rim of the circle or the oval. So from this part to this edge it is 3 cm. So I have taken 2 cm for this part so that when folded or when the card is made stand like this, it is not visible. The inside part, this part is not visible from outside or inside. So exactly, I have done the same in here also. So all these are of two centimeters in length. So for making this base, I have taken eight by 10.5 centimeter piece of paper where I have marked at two centimeter 
4 cm and 6 cm on both the sides. And now taking my scoring board, I will be curing the lines. So this is for 2 cm. The next is 4 cm. And the last one is of 6 cm. So all the lines are equally distributed in terms of measurement. So all of these have 2 cm in each and it has given me 4 parts. So now I will be burnishing these lines. It will be like this. And it has given me a shape of M. So keeping this shape in mind, I will be attaching the two ends, this end and this end with the two flaps of the base card. And now comes the decoration part. I have got three of these flowers and I have got some leaves along with two birds. So these are all my die cut birds, flowers and leaves. Here I will be adhering the flowers one by one. I will keep a little bit space at the bottom so that I can use the sentiment. I will be doing this top decoration a little bit. So for that, I have got this red paper. So here I have marked 1.5 centimeter on each sides and 0.5 centimeter again. So I have got two lines. This is my border edge cutting scissors. I will concentrate on these two lines and place my scissors start cutting from this side and then I will cut along this line it will work as a wonderful border And the border is done. Now I will be placing this bird on the top. Here I have used purple embossing powder from Ranger. And for this one I will be using double sided foam tape to give it some dimension. Here are my three cards and at the end I have added a paper at the back so that I can write some notes and here I have added a border as well. And this makes my project complete. Hope you have liked this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then. Bye and take care.